Welcome to Raj Informatica. Please subscribe my channel, Raj Informatica Real Time Hands on Job Based Training. This channel is having uh, many useful videos like uh, Informatica Power Center, Informatica ISS, Unix, and also Oracle material in this. Please comment, like, and subscribe my channel. Today, our topic is how to load alternative records to different tables for a mapping flow. This is the most asked scenario based interview question. So, before starting this, go to my website rajinformatica.com. So, this is my website rajinformatica.com. So, in this website, you will find uh, many interview questions like Oracle interview questions, Informatica interview questions, Informatica ISS interview questions. And also, we have Power Center study material, Informatica ISS study material, Unix study material, Oracle study material, data warehouse materials. We have many materials. And we have many interview questions in my website. So please go through this. This is having a bunch of interview questions, which are asked, most asked interview questions I have mentioned. And keep browsing my uh, website, rajinformatica.com for more updates. So now we will discuss how to load alternative records into different tables through a mapping flow. So for that, I have a source table already, which is customer's table, or take any, any table, Take any table. So, but I am taking a customer's table as a source, and I am having uh, two tables, uh, target tables that is customers odd, customers even. So, what I have done first, import the source table. First, we will see with the power center. So, import the table. So, go to source, import from database, and import the source table. I am importing customer's table. And then import the target tables. Import the target tables. So I'm going to target, import from database. Import the target tables. So I have customers even, customers odd, import them. So once you import them, create a mapping. I'm creating a mapping, M underscore, customers odd, even, alternative, Yes, please. So this can be do the pins. This question can be asked two ways. How to load alternative records to different tables through a mapping flow, or how to load even records to one target, odd records to one target. Okay. The pins, for example, this is my source table. So in the source table, suppose for example, if I want to load first record to first table, second record to second table, third record to first table, fourth record to second table. Fifth record to first table, sixth record to second table. That is how alternative records are all odd records will go to odd target table. All the event records will go to even target table. That is what we are discussing now. Okay, so I created a mapping, drag the source customers and drag the target customers even and odd. Both I dragged them. So this is customers odd and this is customers even. So next, take an expression transformation. Take an expression transformation and send everything to expression. And then take a sequence generator transformation. Go here and take a sequence generator transformation. So from the sequence generator, connect the next value to expression. In the sequence generator, what we need to do? We need to give current values already one, increment value one, end value give it as two, and cycle make it check, and then reset check start value one. So what it will do, the sequence numbers will start with current value, that is one. And for every record it will give, it will start with one, two, one, two, one, two. For every record, it will give one, two, one, two, one, two. So it will start with one. For this record, sequence generator will give one. For this record, sequence generator will give two. For this record, sequence generator will give one. For this record, sequence generator will give two. Because we have given a cycle option. End value is two, current value is one, Incremented by one, start value is one. So it start with one. When it reaches end value two, it will start again with a start value one and it will so on. And when you run again, if you run the second time the mapping, because they given the reset, every time same sequence numbers will flow. So this is what we need to take in sequence generator. Then once it is done, take a router transmission. So once sequence generator is done, take a router transmission. Send all the columns to router. Send all the columns to 
router. Yes, please. So once you send all the columns to router, create two groups in router. So one is odd, give a name for the route uh, in the groups, odd, odd, even. Yes, please. Odd, even. So you give the names for the output groups. Then here, you give next value equal to one. If next value equal to one, then send to odd, odd table. If next value equal to two, send to event table. Next value equal to two, send to event table. Yes, please. So what I will do? From odd, I will connect it to odd table. From even, I will connect it to event table. Also, what I will do in the, this because my source is the table, in my source, in my source, okay? So what we have is, in my source, the customer IDs are not in order. So I'll make them first order in the source. So what I'll do, I'll go to properties and number of sorted ports, I'll make it as one so that it will do order by customer ID. First, I am doing order by customer ID because these are not in my order, in the order. So that's why I'll give number of sorted ports one, it will take order by customer ID. Same. Okay. Same. Now my mapping is completed. So I will generate a session workflow. Go to mappings, generate workflow. Click on next. WF underscore yes. Next, next, finish. Go to workflow manager. So now what I'll do, I'll go to workflow manager. I will go to workflow manager. So, and I'll configure the session and I'll run it. I'll configure the session and I'll run it. Yes, please. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. So open the workflow and uh, configure the session. OTTGT dev one. OTTGT dev one. Bulk normal. And I'm giving truncate load because if I run, if I run again, it should load the same thing. Bulk to normal. So I give a source connection for source. Target connection for target. Target relation connection for target. Apply. Okay. Save. Now, what we need to do, go to start, start workflow. When you start the workflow, check in the monitor. So this is the workflow. If you see here, total 319 records in source, 159 records loaded to even, 160 records loaded to hard record. Now go to target and check. So this is my first target. If you check, if you check here, okay. So one, three, five, seven, so these are all went to which target? Our target. When you go to here, yes, please. So even the cards went to even. Okay, this is how this is how you can explain in the in the interview. You have to explain like this. If they ask you how to load even records to one target, odd records to another target, or if they ask you how to load alternative records to target, then you have to explain like this to the interviewer. How to explain? I will explain like this. I have a source called customers and I have created two target tables, customers even, customers odd. And uh, I have I have dragged the source and target to mapping. So in the source, I have given order by customer ID in the source qualifier. Then I, I created expression, I created an expression transformation. I dragged all the columns to expression. I created a sequence generator. In the sequence generator, from the sequence generator, I, I have dragged next value to expression transformation. In the sequence generator, I have given these values, current value equal to one, end value equal to two, incremented by one, and start value equal to one. Then I have checked cycle option, and also I have checked reset option. From expression, I have sent all the columns to router. In the router, I have created two groups. One is odd, one is even. For odd, I given x value equal to one. For even, I given x value equal to two, and I have dragged to two targets. So odd, I, I, odd, I drag to uh, odd columns from the odd group. I have connected to odd target from even group from router. I have connected to e even target. This is how I have done the mapping. So this is how you need to explain when they ask you about the, this is how you need to explain when, when, when they ask you about the odd even or odd router. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my video. So before uh, you, before you stopping, 
please subscribe my channel raj informatica youtube channel okay and comment like and subscribe my videos okay thank you guys thank you all for watching my video thank you all this is all about today's topic i hope you got good information from my videos for more information please subscribe my channel like and comment on my videos thank you thank you all.